G'day everyone, welcome back to Clooney Garage, it's Fred here. Well today's the day, we're dynoing the snot box. So let's, here at our tune shop at Gentech, let's go in, let's see how they went. We had to tighten up all the exhaust, get our O2 sensor plugged in, uh, a few other little things too. Had an engine mount, that was a bit interesting, so that's fixed. But we will get it on the dyno, show you a run, stick with us, it's going to be great. I think I can hear the snot box. It's tuning time here at Clooney Garage. We've got master tuner Jim Bob doing his thing. And we've just had a power run. We're at 286, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we're just going to flatten out just between here and here. Just get the AFRs up a little bit. See we're running about high 12s, Jim Bob? Yeah, mid to high 12s, mate, is where we're sort of yep. at for. So we had some fuel issues with the car, so we changed that too, but these, uh, these motors seem to like that AFR, so I'll give it another run in a second, let you hear it. Yeah, it's a bit lumpy there. Sort of 560? Yeah, about that, mate. 560. It's alright. Have you heard, Frankie? So here's the baseline run 238, and look at those AFRs. Starting there, and oh my god. Very bad. <laughs> Going for the shakedown run after the tube. On the living rock. a bit of a poke around. It's not a bad looking rear end. So this thing's had some money spent on it. G'day everyone, 
So we're back from our uh, dino tune at uh, Agentech with amazing results. We just did not expect anything like that. And you probably heard some footage of the car on the outside. Um, got it home back at Clooney Garage here. I'm going to kick it over so you can hear it. It's got a totally different idle. And um, I'll get a little bit of footage. We'll try and get some more out-of-car footage and some more driving in the next couple of weeks. But um, let's start it up and let you hear it. temperature and then we'll show you what it sounds like when it's um, idling a little bit differently. Let's have a look here. Got our other O2 sensor plugged in and um, yeah, we'll show you in another second. It's a bit of a different idle. The old Phantom Cam. Rattling the old ginger beer away there. So I'll show you the engine bay. Just enough to rock you off to sleep. Uh, we're pretty happy with that. I'll give you a small little rev here once it comes up to temperature. And uh, it sounds a little bit crackly and poppy too. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's very, very different. And um, now that we've uh, got the tune in it, running really well, we're gonna take you through all the dyno runs and show you what the data means. So we didn't end up doing a baseline power run without any mods, um, but I've got a benchmark of what Clooney did when it had its L77 six liter in it with the stock air filter, the stock exhaust. And that was something in the order of 216 at the rear wheels, kilowatts, and you could probably expect that maybe even a little bit less for this motor given the age of it. So that was sort of our starting point. And where we went from there, if I can get the right dyno sheet out here, is we took it into Gentech, obviously with the uh, exhaust headers that me and Frankie put on in the exhaust and the OTR um, and our race pipes. We just put it straight on the dyno and did a baseline run just to see where we're at. And that was 238. Now look at these air fuel ratios. They are all over the show. Um, ah. Down to nearly 11 at the end of the run there. So getting a little bit, a little bit dangerous there. But um, that's okay. That's where we started. And then our master tuner, Jim Bob at Gentech. Um, we probably put about 25, 30 odd runs into it. And you could see the footage um, as we went. We ended up getting 286. We actually got 287, but the AFRs weren't where we wanted them. So here's where we ended up with the AFRs. Let's see that little line just here. And they are about 12 and a half the whole way. So we're pretty happy with that. Very consistent AFRs, air fuel ratios. And for those of you that are interested, our torque is in the order of about, on the scale here, on the y-axis, about 550 newton metres of torque the rear wheels, and you can see there the baseline, the, the blue is the new tune, red is the um, old tune, and um, quite a bit of difference there in terms of kilowatts. So, we are estimating 70 kilowatt lift of the rear wheels from the base with all our mods and the tune, and we're thinking, God knows how much the, the torque uplift is, but um, for, Clooney, uh, for, for this car here, that's a huge upgrade for us. So, who got closest in our giveaway? We had people guessing down here from 250 all the way up. You remember we made 286. So we've got a joint winner with Seth and Ben Eckford. Now Seth's a previous winner of a giveaway 
Uh, and he came, um, obviously, second when this guest came in at 285. So Seth's going to get a backup prize. And Ben, you are the proud winner of Grandad's Blanket, the Mustang wraparound blanket from House of Muscle. Huge shout out to House of Muscle for sorting us out with that prize. So that means, Ben, I'm going to need to send you a message and get an email address and a posting address to give you Grandad's Blanket. So if you hear, see an email from Clooney Garage, don't ignore it because I've got to get you the granddad's blanket. So thanks for watching, guys. Been a huge episode putting this one together on the dino run. And I'm going to turn my attention tonight to restoring these headlights. I went to a record today and got a grill. Um, we're going to do a whole episode on how to make your headlights looking better. Um, we're going to start doing some trim detailing. Frankie and I bought a new bonnet today for 100 bucks at a wrecker. Um, we're going to fit that up as well, but that won't be in tonight's episode, whether that'll be coming soon. But let's get this front end looking good. Um, we've got to get the car wrapped. It's now going well. And Frankie also bought some springs and shocks today, so can't help himself. Buying compulsive stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Don't do it for Dale. Do it for Brocky. Catch you later. And huge shout out to House of Muscle. And well done, Ben Eckford. You had faith in the snot box. 285, it's a... It was an audacious guess, but you did it, mate. Well done and congratulations.